friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 20th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the five-year anniversary of Daily Events Worldwide, and as well, first day of spring. Welcome to 2022 spring, and welcome to looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, 304 angstroms, no real active Events to talk about, except for that CME in the last image there. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, you can see on the right-hand side is where that CME occurred, as well on the left side, plasma filament. Looking at outgoing imagery here. No major, no major events in the outgoing position. Looking at multi-spectrum here, keeping an eye on pretty active filaments. And that was in an earth-facing position. Also looking here, 171 angstroms showing coronal holes, one in an earth-facing equatorial region, and as well, southern hemisphere growing considerably. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, you can see that CME ejected right at the BEPI satellite, and it will be approaching Earth and smacking into Earth on the 23rd of March, 23rd into the 24th. So heads up, we do have some space weather heading our way. An accelerated blast, CME, coronal mass ejection. Looking at a real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 319 kilometers per second. Density jumped up there to about 28 bunches. Phi angle has flipped, and we are expecting space weather from the last solar flare. Looking at a real-time solar flux, we did have a C-class solar flare earlier today. Remains in B-class and geomagnetic activity remains low into the 21st. Looking at LASCO 2 and 3, showing the last two days of imagery. And just in the last frame there, you can see the beginning of that CME. Stay tuned for the next video. We'll give you an update on the full blow of it. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 18. Looking at the rise in telemetry there. Quality of 10.4, amplitude of 18. And let's have a quick look around the world for earthquakes. We're going to start out with the largest the last 24 hours. We did have quite a big earthquake yesterday. Tonga region, 6.3. Magnitude at a 21 kilometer depth south of the Fiji Islands. And overnight, we've seen some pretty deep earthquakes as well. South of Fiji Islands, 513 kilometer depth, 533 kilometer depth. So activity continues through Tonga. As well, quite a bit of activity rocking Hawaii today. And Waimea. Hawaii, large 4.3 earthquake. 4.5, sorry, on the island of Hawaii, northwest region. So north of the Mauna Loa and the Kilauea caldera definitely saw some act action after that earthquake. A little eruption here, most recent in the, Kila in the Kilauea caldera. as this is performing like a heartbeat of our planet right now. Carrying on around the world, keeping an eye on Hawaii. A lot of minor activity through the Pacific Plate, Guam 4.7 there. As well, Philippines with the 5.3. Activity, uh, Taiwan 4.5 there. 
And as well, activity continues east of Japan. 4.3 here reported in West Xinjiang, China. And as well, Pakistan, 4.5. And Iran, 4.7. And a 4.4 here reported Greenland Sea. So North Pole region. Looking across the United States, largest to report was the 3.6 on the West Coast. But notable here, 3.5 in Viola, Texas, that, or sorry, Kansas, that has been happening now for the last 48 hours. A few earthquakes there. A lot of action here through Central America. 4.1 there, Guatemala. 4.8, Panama. 4.5, Panama. 4.5, Colombia. And as well, a 4.0 here in Putacana, Dominican Republic. Not really enough earthquakes in this region as per usual. So keeping an eye on that. South America here, recently here, San Antonio de Cobros, 4.3, but pretty deep, 208 kilometer depth, as well as 4.4, 184 kilometer depth. So now it's deep earthquake movement time. Into the spring equinox, 4.9, there are South Sandwich Islands. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the world. USGS reporting just under 200 across the USGS map. Give you a quick browse at the last seven days for earthquakes as we've seen two over six pointers 6.3 Tonga and as well the 7.3 Japan. It's been a pretty active week to say the least. 5.8 there, Iran. Right up the, the Atlantic plate and way too quiet in South America. Keeping an eye on the Cascades over the next little bit. Seeing some increased movement through Alberta and BC and up into the Yukon and Alaska. So heads up, stay aware and prepared. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery across the world as well posting the most recent volcanoes, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Sabancaya, Peru, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia, Sangay in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia. That's about nine of volcanoes getting updated today, and we still have an active and erupting 49 across the planet. I was pointing out there that large system through the Atlantic getting ready to squish into Europe. Very big system developing over the United States over the long range forecast. Stay tuned for the forecast coming right up. Tropical Cyclone 21 is alive. Northwest of Australia, way off the coast. No threat to mankind. Pretty strong system developing in the Indian Ocean. And as well, still a pretty strong system heading into Ukraine. A lot of snow over the last little bit. Drying out though. Just pointing out that pretty intense cold front that came through. Let's have a look at the world weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base Ontario, where we have a very dangerous storm developing across the southeastern United States, central United States, and then moving into Ontario for the week. We're going to focus on that right away. Looking at that Monday into Tuesday. So we've got extreme weather breaking out across the United States over the next three days as per the last couple forecasts. Just keeping everybody aware and prepared, giving you lots of time to be prepared for this very dangerous system that is developing. You're going to have extreme weather breaking out across central United States, southeast, northeast, all along the coastline there and snow on the backside of that system. Overlooking the west, we've got an Alberta clipper here developing. Sunday into Monday, that's going to bring snow through central Alberta, and then into Saskatchewan. And then big wave of moisture will spread across Manitoba into Ontario. Lots of moisture heading into the west coast. 
central northern BC coastline and up into Alaska, you've got three low pressure systems affecting you over the next few days. But the big story is this big system that's developing very dangerous storm across the U.S. and up into Canada for Ontario. Overlooking Europe, still a pretty strong low off the coast of Spain, bringing in thunderstorm conditions. Other than that, there's no major systems on land right now affecting parts of Europe. Most of the energy and moisture is in Spain right now. Coastal regions moving in. Overlooking Southeast Asia, atmospheric river of moisture stretching from Thailand up to Kamchatka. Strong system coming out of China is going to help develop that. And then looking along the equator as well, a lot of moisture across Indonesia and Australia. No major weather systems, daily evaporation rains. Got a system affecting Australia Thursday to Friday, southeastern parts, and as well New Zealand. You've got just about a tropical storm on your doorstep for the next few days as well. Overlooking South America, watch in the long range for pretty strong storms to develop. Argentina, Brazil border, right there. Very strong low developing there, kind of matching the one in the northern hemisphere over North America. In the long range, watch for this system to just graze northwestern parts of Africa. Overlooking Africa, Madagascar, drying out for parts of Madagascar the next few days. Other than that, no major weather systems affecting you in Africa. Going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern, pointing out the systems spinning across our planet right now. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and as well subscribing, all of the memberships, all of the moderators. Thank you all so much. You have really made daily events worldwide what it is. So for you, I thank you. Much love. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update. Happy five-year anniversary. Here's to five more. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.